quarter of a century of practice on this mountain has already passed, and the next quarter of a century lies before us. 800 students who formally entered training here, 325 who received Jukai, 11 full ordinations, 27 become either postulants or novices. But is this what it's about? Is it about numbers? Is it about the work, the, the prison practice program that was started so many years ago? The Zen environmental program that's been going on for years now. Reaching out beyond the borders of the monastery through Dharma communications bringing the Dharma out of the mountains into the city, the establishment of ZCNYC, making the Dharma accessible in the home. Zen kids and Zen teens and the National Buddhist Archives, affiliate groups, 200 Fusatsus, 200 Dharma combats, 300 Mondos, 13,000 services, 300,000 meals. Measuring is always the space between two points, one of which is some sort of standard or perhaps a goal. How is it when you don't know where you're going or what the goal really is, but only know that each step follows the other? <laughs> Gerald Smith is a retired auto worker from Detroit. He was raised a Baptist. Now he's a Buddhist. Smith's spiritual search brought him to the Zen Mountain Monastery in upstate New York. He is among the five million Americans who have taken up Buddhist meditation. Abbot John Laurie says he's not surprised that Americans are attracted to Buddhism. They're very independent want to do things for themselves and Zen says that's the only way you can do it you have to do it for yourself we have the power and in the process Americans are putting their own stamp on this ancient practice women hold positions of leadership for example something unheard of in Asia do not squander your life. this is Judy Muller for the American agenda What is truth? What is reality? What is life? What is death? What is God? Who am I? That's our business. That's what we do. But we're not trying to convince anybody. This great earth is no different than this body and mind. Your body and mind. And indeed, the body and mind of the universe. Let uh, the mind stop moving and let the brush paint by itself. You know, let the camera photograph by itself. If there's no intellectualization, then the subject kind of creates the, uh, you have no pre preconceived idea. It may be a misnomer to even call it art that we do. It's Zen art. And it's based on the traditional Zen arts and the way they're taught. And it's based on the aesthetic that Hishimatsu speaks of, the Zen aesthetic, where no mind is one of the important aspects of that. No clinging no attachment, spontaneity, those qualities are part of what I try to encourage people to do. And it's pretty hard when you make the leap from sumier brushwork to video production or photography. And I asked them to go out with no preconceived notion of, to let it be a process of discovery, to go out with a an attitude that's open and receptive. And that when they feel the presence of their subject, they'll be drawn to it. 
there's a kind of a resonance that happens. And then when you find that, to sit in the presence of the subject and wait to be acknowledged. And only then do you start the process of photographing. It's very contemplative. Smoke, don't smoke, don't smoke. It's a $9 billion capitalist communist joke. Don't smoke, don't smoke, don't smoke. I've had a long friendship with this place over the years. Used to come here and teach with Allen Ginsberg. So it's always very uh, heartening to be back in this space. From the beginning of our history here on Tremper Mountain, we have always responded to what has appeared in front of us. Zen Mountain Monastery evolved as needs arose. In the same way, every subsequent development of this monastery and its related organizations was a response to the imperative of a particular time, place, and circumstance. Now, in these difficult times, we face the need to respond to an unprecedented growth of interest in Zen and find that we are unable to serve all the people that come to us. Having maintained, restored, and repaired our existing buildings, we must, for the first time, create something new in order to meet the needs of our time. Now, additional space is necessary to meet the need of those who come to us. The Dragon Hall is just such a place. This new multi-purpose, environmentally friendly Dragon Hall will increase our capacity for retreats, workshops, and residencies, and enable us to serve future generations of Zen practitioners. It will serve as a center for the Zen arts, providing a place for exhibition, performances, lectures, and conferences open to the public encouraging the exploration of the Zen arts as spiritual practice. Building the Dragon Hall green, that is LEED certified, is a natural reflection of our commitment to the earth. Let us put our hearts and minds together and ask each other and ourselves how we can best serve. Please consider contributing to the fund to build the Dragon Hall. By doing so, you will be helping Zen Mountain Monastery continue to make room for all the people who enter these gates.